we back, we back, we back, and I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated, man. I got a little bit of film to show y'all today, and I do mean a little bit of film. Two minutes and 39 seconds worth of film today because of how ESPN, pardon me, the four-letter network and the three-letter network uh, covered it today. Out of all that um, coverage that we got today, we only got two minutes and 39 seconds worth of pass rush. I think that's pretty ridiculous how they uh, haven't really represented for the big boys there. O line and D line, but we gonna do what we gotta do. You know, we gonna run it for the cardio and make use of what we got. Josh, uh, Josh Jones here, the uh, Houston left tackle. He's a guy that's been getting a little bit of notoriety in the sense of his size and his athleticism. Um, you know, they're saying that he's a bit raw. You know what? He moves like an offensive lineman that's super athletic, but don't really know how to play offensive line yet. You know, uh, let's take a look at his punch. His punch wasn't terrible, but he kind of caught him. Um, yeah, this you know hat level right here. I'm not really a really a big fan of it, man. How you know did he open up his hips pretty wide there? He opened up his hips pretty wide right there. Uh, didn't show too too much patience. Yeah, he just kind of went. He he just went for a ride here, man. Didn't show good power there. But hey, man, it's just one rep. It's just one rep, man. What you want me to say? Um, good rep from the pass rush. Shouts out to you, man. Shots out to you. Oh, there's something else I hated too, man. When they were covering this thing, um, I had to edit around a lot of stuff because where they should be showing the next rep, that's a great rep here, where they should be showing the next rep, they'll instead show, you know, some coach coaching somebody on the sideline or they'll show the player that just went standing on the sideline. And, of course, that is frustrating. But Josh Uche from, from Michigan. Oh boy, look at this rush, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Look at this rush, man. We got we got a little bit of hesitation there. We're gonna fake it a little bit to the inside, and it kind of worked because if you take a look at 53's left foot, he steps back in there. You see that? See that small step back inside? That's really all we need. See that? That little small hesitation right there. We're gonna hesitate to make you hesitate. Then he's gonna um he's going to uh defeat the outside hands here. <sighs> Talk about some bend, man. That's some bend. That's some athleticism, man. The, the only question mark you would really have about, um, you know, Josh Uche is his size, you know. So you're going to put him in outside linebacker at some point, uh, give him a dumbbell and a sandwich and see if he, you know, kind of grows a little bit. This is an example. Look, this is an example. Like when they should just be showing the next rep, we're just going to follow Josh Uche to the sideline. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, you can keep talking about it, man. But show us what we're here to see, man. We're here to see the footage, bro. We're here to see the footage. And plus, this angle here is is terrible, man, because we have no earthly idea what's going on right here, man. We we don't know who these people are. And you, <laughs> you just kind of pop back in the frame after chasing Josh Uche to the sideline real, you know, just, you know, quick. Like, uh, I'm not here to complain about. I'm lying. I'm here to complain about it. <laughs> I'm here to complain about it. You know, like, like, why is this so zoomed out here? Like. I don't know, but what happened on this rush here, just a simple bull rush seems like uh, not a lot of diversity, and the center just kind of ran them all. Look, look, and I had to edit this part out because they just went right back. Even after these three reps afterwards, they just went right back to Josh Jones on the sideline and just looked at him for like three minutes. So I had to edit that out, man. Um, at least with the NFL Network footage, I didn't have to edit too much. But uh, ESPN, oh, man, their angles were terrible. Um, but anyway. Anyway, we don't want to make it that kind of video. Good job defeating the outside hands, man. Hey, somebody chat box, tell me who this is, who this long, lengthy uh, pass rusher is going up against the uh, UConn cat, whoever that guy is, too. Um, look at this. Mm. Defeat them hands with, with some violence, man. Violent hands, violent, violent hands. Good, solid bend right there, getting inside. Relentless rush. Nice, man. Nice, man. If you want to defeat any hand, man, defeat the outside hand, man. Just just, just beat that one. What the hell? Get, get, get over that. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Um, is that Neville Gallimore? I, if it's zoomed in, if it's zoomed in a little closer, I'd be able to tell you. But look, that looks like an Oklahoma helmet. I don't know. Somebody help me out. I think that's Neville Gallimore, yeah. So, sure. What happened here? What happened here? Um, boom, boom, boom. Kind of stood up a bit, yes. Yep, legs got kind of straight. Not very powerful there. Um, pretty solid recovery from the uh, from the guard here to be able to boom, 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 stop it and then recover back inside. But we did see a little bit of uh, power um, from the tackle. I'm saying it's never got one, but I don't know. But we saw a little bit of power from the tackle to um, to not only get caught but to a hey, now get off me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it and it did actually work out. So uh, both guys kind of lost the rep a little bit. Both guys kind of won it. So. Uh, just my thoughts. 
That's my thoughts. This is my uh, Carolina guy, my North Carolina guy, Jason Strawbridge. Man, uh, he made some noise today. I wish I got a chance to to see more of. But look at that quickness off the line of scrimmage, man. Damn, you can't even keep yourself up. You can't get off the ground. You're going to mess up your clothes. You're going to get all that orange paint all on your pants there. What are you doing? But, man, he's going to cross face, defeating them hands. Boy, I love when a D lineman know how to defeat some hands, man. Look at that. Plus quickness and burst. He's another one of those guys that can play inside and outside. So I need to add him to our film list. Everybody, don't let me forget. We got Jason Strawbridge and um, from yesterday, Marlon, Marlon Davidson. We got to watch film on those guys. Those are both guys that seem like they can play defensive end and they can line up inside at three tech and give you some, um, you know, some solid pass rush there. So y'all please remind me to do that. Let's see. We got uh, Josh Josh Jones back out there again against Alden Robinson from uh, from uh, Syracuse. Shouts out to my live streamers. I was told to check out Alden Robinson here. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, ball get off. Solid, solid, solid. Hands got a little high there. They got high and outside. I mean, you're not very powerful when your hands are right there. You know, if you want to bull rush down the middle of somebody, your hands should be a little bit more inside, a little more down. But if they're just at the top of the shoulder, you're not strong there. Uh, pretty much the lower you push somebody, that's why we tell you to get low. Um, the lower the point of attack, the stronger you are and the easier it is to push something. If, you, if you're going to push somebody by their shoulders, you're not going to be very strong. So if you're uh, if you're Josh Jones here, um, and the most strength that Alden gave you was a push to your shoulders, then you were able to recover. Now, just imagine if he pushed the heck out of Josh Jones, got him in a chest, and, you know, that kind of stumbled him a little bit. He wouldn't be able to recover like he did. But Josh did have a pretty solid recovery because that initial strike from Alden, um, from Alden Robinson wasn't that powerful. So interesting stuff, man. Interesting stuff. Let's keep moving. I had to edit right there. Interesting stuff. Let's see. Boy, this fat kid is going to run down the middle of you and you're just going to anchor. Just <laughs> Come on, Brandon Law. Come on, Brandon Law. I don't know who to get that to. I'll give it to the guard. By the... Just come on, man. This is my temple guy? This is my, this is my guy Hennessy? This is my guy Hen Dog? <sighs> Boy, Hen Dog. <laughs> Hen Dog got spin cycle, man. Oh, uh, man. Told my Ken more about this whirlpool. Let's see. Did he uh, grab some cloth? Let me rewind this thing. Did he did he uh, grab a little cloth on you? Boom, boom, boom. He did. Grabbed a little cloth. Da, da, da. Work back to your right, which will technically be like outside, you know, because that's just the direction that you went as a as a center or whatever. But he's going to start to your inside, pull some cloth, work back outside. Psh, some good quickness there. Good uh, pop at the uh, point of attack. Solid stuff, man. Solid stuff from whoever that Husky kid is. There's an Ohio State kid running over Wake Forest kid. Okay, I take that back. Wake Forest kind of anchored a little bit. Wait a minute. We did get some penetration early. Mm -hmm. This this first three steps, like this initial burst, it looked pretty bad for Wake Forest. Let me see where Wake Forest's hands were. Uh, first of all, Wake Forest, your base is kind of wide. But if you're going to pop in, uh, give ground slowly, uh, pop your feet and give ground, give ground slowly. Then I, I'll kind of forgive your base for being wide, but fam, this is too wide. Like your base, bring those, bring those feet in a little bit more and that'll help you be a little more, uh, be more powerful there. But that initial burst, he got you. But once you actually sat down, once you actually, actually got your, got your base in a better place, um, I'll say that's better right there. Once you got your base in a better place and you were able to sit down and, um, use your hands and power there, then it just worked out a little better for you. So, and that's the end. <laughs> that's all we got. So, yeah, like I said, it's a shorter video today, man. Hopefully, since they uh, since they hold us on big boy film today, maybe they double down on it tomorrow. I don't know. I think my grand conclusion is that I just need to be in Mobile, Alabama next year. I just think that's the you know that's the big deal for me. That's the the uh, you know the solution to this. Okay. So, um, hey, like the video if you did. Subscribe. Come back tomorrow if they if they pass if they pass rush tomorrow. I'll be doing a video tomorrow. Uh, so tune in for that. And uh, salute to, to the Patreon people. Salute to my Twitter people. V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. Till next time. Peace.
My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.